So on the basis of properties of Z transforms that we have just studied, show that Z of 1 divided by n factorial is equal to e power 1 by Z and deduce the following Z of 1 divided by n plus 1 the whole factorial and Z of uh, 1 divided by n plus 2 the whole factorial. So we know that Z of 1 divided by n factorial is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity. In place of the function u of n, we'll be having 1 by n factorial z transform uh, z of mi uh, minus n, right? On expanding, what do we get? We get 1 plus z, in, uh, z power minus 1, 1 factorial plus z power minus 2 by 2 factorial, z power minus 3 by 3 factorial and so on. So what is this? This term is nothing but u0. This term is u1. Right? This is u2, u3 and so on. So it will be like u0 plus u1 z power minus 1 plus u2 z power minus 2 plus u3 z power minus 3. So your this 1 divided by 1 factorial 2 divided by 2 factorial that will be your u's okay. So that will be u1 z power minus 1 u2 z power minus 2 so on and so forth right. So now by using the shifting property for one unit right step what do we get z of 1 divided by 1 n plus 1 we are shifting it to the right by 1 place factorial is equal to z of uz minus u0 right that is equal to what that's equal to z of e power 1 by z minus 1 now by using uh, the shifting property for two unit uh, to the right steps okay so that is nothing but 1 divided we'll shift it to two points two places to the right uh, so that's nothing but z of z square of u of z minus u naught minus u1 z in z power minus 1. This is all according to the formulas that we have studied before, right? So that's equal to z square e power 1 by z minus 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial z power minus 1. That's equal to z square e power 1 by z minus 1 minus z power minus 1 right so this problem is solved we'll take one more question so we have find z of sine n theta and sine uh, and cos n theta right so we know that cos theta minus i sine theta the whole power n is equal to e power minus i theta the whole power n so this is a formula that you need to remember so now by taking uh, z transform on both the sides what do we get will be z of cos theta minus i sine theta that's equal to z of sorry cos n theta sine n theta right cos n theta sine n theta that is equal to uh, z of e power minus i theta to the power n then that's equal to z divided by z minus e power i theta into z of e power uh, z minus e power i theta divided by z minus e power i theta right we'll do rationalization so over here we'll get z of z minus e power i theta divided by z square minus z of e i theta plus e power minus i theta plus 1 right so what is z of cos n theta minus i z of sin n theta that's equal to sorry this is 1 and this is 1 right so that's equal to z of z minus cos theta 
divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 minus i z sin theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. Right? And then we have z of cos n theta comes out to be on opening the brackets we'll get z uh, okay um, on yeah so z of cos n theta will be equal to z into z minus cos theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta minus 1 sorry plus 1 and z of sin n theta will be equal to the, um, what do you see, the imaginary part of this equation. That will be z of sin theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. So the real part will be the cos's, uh, cos n theta's equation and uh, z of sin n theta will be z sin theta divided by this. That's nothing but the imaginary part of the equation. Right? That's all. You can try out a simple question. 3 power n sin n pi, uh, pi by 2. And your answer will come out to be this. I will give you a small hint to it. So you will be using z of a power n u n's formula. You will continue to evaluate. And over here theta is equal to pi by 2. Take care. So try it out.